what is up everyone welcome back to my channel as y'all can see i'm cutting up yet another aloe leaf for our aloe vera hair growth challenge that is because the first leaf that y'all see me cut i stuck it in the fridge and the slices actually had like a pink and yellow tint juice coming from it and i didn't think that i wanted to put that in my hair so i didn't i threw it out and i just bought a completely new one so pretty much the process is going to be completely the same except for the only difference is we're getting rid of all of the green leaves and we're sticking it in a blender to juice that thing on up to a gel like a liquefied gel and so all of my new viewers welcome to my channel welcome to my video we actually like to grow hair on this channel so make sure y'all go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can join the community and grow your hair with us because we growing you know <laughs> okay so here you see our filleted aloe gel slices i'm gonna go ahead and put them in a blender which you can see exactly how thick that gel is like look at it I didn't slow this down, I didn't speed it up, that's just normal speed. It's a thick gel, so in order for me to liquefy this into something that I feel can actually be absorbed by my hair and by my scalp, I needed to toss it in a blender and kind of like liquefy it down a little bit. And I also stuck, or I also put, my bad, I didn't mean to say stuck a little water, I mean to say put a little water. I also put a little water in the mixture just that way it does loosen it up. But here you guys can definitely skip this part. If you get it to like the proper or right liquid volume type ratio if that makes sense. So again you don't want it thick. You kind of want it like a pureed, nicely pureed thin liquid without any gel clumps. I thought that if I was to put it through like this. What is that? Like a sifter? And a... Uh, uh, a mixture um, I don't know if you go and put it through that thing I thought that it'll catch like all the gel clumps but because I did leave it in a blender on high for a whole minute there were no gel clumps whatsoever so again you do not have to do that particular step if you do puree it or liquefy it or blend it for a longer period of time okay so that little jar right there i actually stuck that in the freezer because i wanted to preserve this but for some godforsaken reason i thought i really honestly truly thought that if i was to stick this in the freezer it somehow was gonna turn into like this aloe gel hair grease that i can put on my scalp how that was gonna work i'm not sure because it's a freaking liquid but that's that's the mindset that i had when i was creating this and when i got that jar out but it didn't it didn't come out like that it's still in my freezer and it's definitely not like a uh, it's not like a hair grease but back to the video so if y'all normally put hair grease in your hair when you have like box braids or twists then this is pretty much the exact same except for you're not applying it with your finger you're applying it with the bottle and then you're rubbing it in with your finger but it's the exact same I'm going through every row and then because it is a liquid it is a little runny so I don't have to go in particularly through every braid I just chose to do that for some areas but that's how I'm applying it and that's how I'm going to be applying it for every other day until I take my box braids down and really quick when you apply it to your hair this way you don't want to go overboard you never go overboard when you put hair grease in your hair so you pretty much need to think of it as it being a hair grease but also because of conditions and it promotes hair growth, I'm putting on my baby hairs as well as on the length of my hair because why not? I want my edges to grow as well. And I'm also putting it on the hair in the back of my neck. But as y'all can see, there is no residue like I thought it was going to be. There's nothing left on my scalp. But guys, this is it. I just wanted to show you guys this quick little video on how I will be applying the aloe the next couple of weeks. So I do hope you guys like this video. I do hope you all subscribe. Be sure to give a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video.